Guys, today we got an insane new update on the Nike versus Bape lawsuit. Adidas is selling a box as a shoe. Why you might not ever get your $20 Yeezy. Welcome to Sneaky Sundays. We've got a bunch to get into. So let's kick it off with a little release recap. And of course, the biggest one was Air Max Day. Flagship release was the Air Max DN. A ton of different colorways dropped both on the Nike sneakers app and some just on the regular Nike app. Let me know if you picked up a pair and what colorway. And of course, we had the vault green midsole colorway of the Air Max. Max 186. I definitely prefer the white midsole pair, but let me know if you picked up a pair of these. Kick it off with the upcoming stuff. And in fact, actually, let's talk about a story that's been making some pretty big waves online. So as you guys know, Adidas and Zhao teamed up to release a pair of Sambas. The premium $250 pair, which is double the retail price. The biggest marketing ploy behind these things was the fact that they are insane quality and that they're made in Germany. However, turns out uh, that was not entirely true. They they are partly made in Vietnam. So Zhao posted an Instagram story of them kind of disassembling this pair of shoes. You can see a little screenshot over here. Uh, and on the tag, you can see it says made in Vietnam. Well, Adidas said that the shoe was finished in Germany and not completely made there. Essentially, what that kind of means is like everything was made in Vietnam and then they just shipped it over to Germany where they glued on the midsole. I don't necessarily think that it's a conversation about quality, like as if Vietnam has inferior manufacturers than Germany. I just think it's a little bit more towards the fact of like they were exposed for using made in Germany as a marketing ploy when they really technically weren't. And they assume that because it's being made in Germany, the employees there, because the laws are a lot stricter, would be getting paid a fair price. Whereas in Vietnam, where laws are not so strict, they could be getting shafted with just getting paid pennies on the dollar. Either way, this was a pair of shoes that I was never going to pick up personally. It's uh, not a pair of sneakers for me, but but I would love to know your thoughts on this down in the comment section. Does this change your opinion or is this something that you already knew? Couple of release updates for sneakers that are dropping right around the corner, kicking it off with the Drake Nocta Hot Step 2. Uh, these are going to be returning on April the 4th. I had a small little shock drop for you guys out in the US a couple weeks ago. Now they're having their full global rollout. All a pair of sneakers, I'm actually gonna be going for these. The Air Jordan 5 sale is gonna be dropping next month and we have a new release date now. So I think we previously thought they were dropping April the 20th. However, now are going to be dropping on April the 13th. This is a solid pair of Jordan 5s and I actually think I'm going to try grab a pair of these because uh, there's not even that many Jordan 5s that are going to be dropping this year. This one looks like it's going to be one of my favorites. We've got another Nike Book 1 that's going to be dropping. I think we've had a couple colorways. They're going to be dropping April the 6th and I think these are pretty solid. The pony hair may be a little bit questionable to some but not a bad sneaker overall. A pair of shoes that takes the cake has got to be this freaking what even is this? What you're looking at is Adidas selling a box as shoes. Adidas is fittingly calling this pair the box shoe and uh, they have like actual models wearing these on their Adidas confirmed app. However, with April 1st happening tomorrow, this could be a joke. I just feel like it's a little bit of a strange joke. Like they loaded up a couple days ago and then there's no specific price point. There's no release date. But yeah, as you can see, it is literally just an Adidas box with some laces flopped onto the top of them. Air Max Day literally just happened a couple days ago, but we've got some leaks for what's gonna happen next year. Air Max Day 2025 looks like it's going to have a return of the Stash Nike Air Max 95. This is all based off of an Instagram post that Mr. Stash made. It says Air Max Day 2025 and then a pixelated image of uh, what looks to be like the collaboration they did quite a while ago. This is the original 2006 pair that dropped and it seems as of right now like they're going to return true to the original. However, we can't be certain. The way, this would be pretty cool. Um, we can expect them March the 26th, 2025. Let me know if this is a pair of shoes that you would love to see a return of. Uh, but if we get any more information, I'll let you know. We've got some official images of the the upcoming D or Greenwood Nike SB Blazer Mid. This blazer looks pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. They removed the laces and just slapped like this deconstructed sheath over the top. In fact, there could be laces underneath. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, you do have laces. So they're just peeking through underneath over here. Uh, but we can assume since these are official images that they'll most likely be dropping next month. Of course, they will be accompanied by this pair of Nike SB Dunk Highs, which are wild. They're very, very loud 
in terms of the colorway. Uh, they've got an extra kind of band going atop the laces as well. So yeah, there's a lot going on with this pair, but both of these should be dropping relatively soon. We finally got our first looks at the upcoming collaboration between Nina Chanel Abney on the Air Jordan 3 special project. I'm loving them. These things look phenomenal. So this is, I think, the only image that we have, uh, this one right over here. And it is a little bit of a strange material choice. We got canvas on the upper mixed with some suede. This was the original concept, which is definitely not as nice as what we're actually going to be getting. But if you guys forgot, this is the first image that we saw of this collaboration. It's just like a little product shot of all of the back tabs that are going to be attached to this pair of shoes, which are very, very different. We don't have a specific release date. There should be dropping this summertime, but if we get any more updates, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Adidas's version of the Nike Shocks is going to be dropping this year. This is the uh, Adidas A3 Mega Ride. It's going to be dropping at some point this year. This is the colorway that's suspected to release the silver and black upper pair. It looks like an interesting pair. These originally dropped back in the 2000s. It's not like a pair of shoes that I have fond memories of or anything like that, but uh, anybody who's on that crazy Adidas retro wave, you might be happy that these things are coming back. We've got our first look at the upcoming Air Jordan 1 High Black Metallic Gold. These are going to be dropping at the tail end of this year, August 2024. And they're looking, they're looking pretty just meh. I mean, black and gold is a solid combo, but I'm just, yeah, I, I think these are a, a pretty easy pass for me personally. These images, because they are pretty, you know, they're pretty gritty, is making this gold look very, very dull, almost like a brownish gold. Let me know what you think of these things down in the comment section. Would you cop them? All right, this is probably the best colorway I've seen so far of the brand new New Balance 1000. Brand new, I mean, a brand new for 2024 it's retroing from years ago we've seen a bunch of like metallic colorways this one seems like it's going to be my favorite by a long shot so it's got nice leather on the upper uh, with suede around the bottom of this thing which looks way better than all of the other leather that they've stuck on these things no specific release date they're going to retail at 150 dollars just dropping at some point this year we've got our first collaboration on a pair of shoes that i really really like it's the nike sb ishod 2 so this is going to be a very Verdi collaboration. We're supposed to be getting a pair of dunks with Verdi as well. But this is actually something that I think fits this sneaker very, very well. I don't think it's going to be my favorite colorway or anything, but I am a big fan of this sneaker. And I'm actually excited that they're doing collaborations with this model. I think there's a lot of potential in it. A lot of other people like these things as well. I'm hyped that we're getting this collaboration and I hope we see more in the future. No specific release date for these, just at some point this year. All right, we've got a couple Travis Scott updates. First one we got to talk about the Jumpman Jack. So it's kind of been a little bit of a rumor that these should be dropping in April on the 30th. Again, because they were delayed, they were supposed to drop in March. People were like, okay, is this new April release date actually going to happen? Well, it looks like it's pretty much set in stone now. We've got the official images, which confirms that they are going to be dropping on the Nike sneakers app. And we've got multiple different things all cooperating that April 30th release date. Not to mention, it's also Travis Scott's birthday, which makes it a lot more likely. So just wanted to put that out there. If you were after this pair of shoes, April 30th is the current release date. They should be dropping through the Nike sneakers app and hopefully through a couple different retailers as well. I think this is a solid pair. I would definitely go for them if you have the chance because they're nice. We also got some brand new looks at the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Low OG Alternate Olive, Medium Olive, whatever the hell they're calling these things. The first initial release date rumor was that they're going to be dropping next year, 2025. It's also strange that we already have pairs of these things floating around. I imagine some of these were pushed back due to the Jumpman Jacks coming through because we also got to look at like two other Jordan 1 colorways as well. And just wanted to show you these images. Uh, no specific release date. Just assume that they're dropping very, very late this year or next year. All right, we've got a ton of Kobe's to talk about. So let's just run through this. So the first one, uh, we've got new official images for the Kobe 6 Italian camos. So these are supposed to drop this summertime for $180. The rumored release date for them as of right now is April the 13th, which would make a lot of sense since we're now just getting official images. So I would probably say that's the most likely release date for these things. Maybe if you didn't like these, well, you got a bunch to choose from because we're going to get an entire Kobe 8 Pro Tro team bank pack. This is all going to be dropping this full time. So as you can see, we've got five different colorways. Some we already have some on foot shots of. So this black and yellow swoosh pair, you can see it's got like the Lakers colors in there and obviously the purple around the back. 
also have some on-foot shots for the grey colorway. This one's also very, very nice. Just a wearable, solid colorway overall. Pretty simple. Also got some on-foot shots of the red colorway. Again, looking pretty clean. The other colorways which we do not have on-foot shots for is the navy pair. And then this one over here, which is like the sail colorway. This is a massive story. So an announcement happened earlier this week. Uh, and just, just read the title of this article. Adidas losing Germany to Nike is one of its biggest failures. That's right. So Adidas for over 77 years has been making the uniforms for the German national football team. However, Nike just came in, threw a bunch of money in there, and now they've got it. So Germany has been sponsored by Adidas for 77 years, and come 2027, Nike is going to be making their kits. So this article really goes into the gravity of how big this deal is, because uh, they basically say that this is the biggest betrayal in sportswear industry history. Germany leaving Adidas is like if Michael Jordan just ended its Nike partnership and signed with Adidas. I don't know if it's that big, but I could be biased. But I mean, it is insane. Like Adidas is a German brand. They've always sponsored the German team. And then an American company comes in and uh, it's all over. Adidas is bleeding sponsorships at this point. Apparently Nike is paying 100 million euros for the contract, which is double the 50 million euros that Adidas was paying. So basically Nike has more money. This is pretty insane. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section and if any of you guys are from Germany let me know your thoughts down there because I'm sure you're a lot closer to this than some of us. All right let's get into this Yeezy news which uh, unfortunately is not looking great. As we know the uh, the $20 Yeezy product thing it, it's amazing because all of these hoodies, shoes, they're all $20. However the issue is is that uh, people are still waiting for their orders. Now I have had so many messages from people over on IG asking like when am I gonna get it? Uh, when did you get yours? Well, I've made multiple orders on the Yeezy website for different things that I wanted to make videos on. Uh, and the only things I've received is two t-shirts and Yeezy pods for orders that I made back in January. However, the next order that I made was towards the end of January and maybe beginning of February and uh, I've received nothing. I'm still waiting. So that's like over eight weeks. I'm still waiting for the rest of my stuff to ship out. However, this is where it gets pretty crazy crazy because uh, yes, Jules, who if you didn't know is a Yeezy employee or former Yeezy employee, I should say, because she has been let go. She has been fired. This happened, I think a couple weeks ago. I don't want to get into why she was fired and the whole situation with that because of course, when it comes to Yeezy, it's all drama filled. However, since she was fired, she went on a little tirade of tweets, basically saying that good luck to people who ordered anything off of that Yeezy website. This is the first tweet. She says, uh, not to mention, there are a lot of people awaiting packages packages in the mail based upon a four week turnaround promised on a website for a company that knew they wouldn't be able to deliver that product in time. She adds, pretty sure all those customers have the right to file a suit of their own should they wish. I don't know if she's right about that. Can you file a suit for products that you're still waiting on? I don't know if anybody could be bothered considering the products are just $20. She goes on to put out a lot more, uh, mainly about the situation of her filings. Uh, she's saying that there's just a lot of really really bad stuff going on. Also replied to someone who asked, what do you recommend? Cancel my order or wait for them to ship? She said, lol, good luck, brother. Now, even on this post, you can just take a look at these comments where the people are just saying like, where is my stuff? I ordered February 12th and I still haven't got my items. I haven't received my orders yet. It's been two months. It's eight weeks since I ordered my two pairs of Yeezy pods. I haven't heard anything from Yeezy. No updates, no shipping updates or anything like that. I want to know where my stuff is. This person is already saying that they filed a suit already. She ended all of these tweets saying, I ain't said shit yet, believe that. I don't know what's going on. I know that it is, uh, from the outside, it does look like there is absolute chaos happening with the entire Yeezy situation. I think a lot of people do want to give Yeezy the benefit of a doubt. You know, he's just gone independent. He's selling these products for $20. Just wait patiently because you only pay 20 bucks. To be honest, there is a point there, like you are paying 20 bucks. Like, what do you expect? Expedited next day shipping on this stuff. Obviously, you do have to take into account, like, there has probably been so many orders. I just think the main thing that's getting people worried is, like, as people are waiting for their products, they're excited, they want to see this stuff, and then it seems like the entire Yeezy team is falling apart. Could we see some other situation where a bunch of people get fired and then orders just get cancelled? That certainly could be the case as well. It just seems uh, a little bit unfortunate that things are falling apart in terms of that team because, you know, 
they're just trying to build things back up. Uh, I think that if Ye is going to be successful, this all has to go pretty smoothly, at least during the beginning. Either way, we're going to have to wait and see. And if you're still waiting on any $20 Yeezy product, let me know down in the comment section when you order. This is a pretty interesting one. So we've got an upcoming collaboration, which I think looks pretty cool. And uh, it's between NLE Chopper and Factory Lab. Factory Lab, if you didn't know, it's uh, basically the owner is a previous Yeezy employee who started his own company, Factory Lab. They've just started making shoes. They made a couple different foam shoes. Now this is going to be their first big collaboration with NLE Chopper on a duck boot. These things look wild. It looks to be like some kind of rubber or foam material and they are massive. They are huge. There's no specific release date, just at some point to be determined. All right, we got an update on the Nike and Bape lawsuit, which is just crazy. Basically, Bape pulled out an Uno reverse card and it's looking pretty insane. We're not going to get into the whole history of this. Basically, Nike decided to file a lawsuit against Bape. Well, the latest update is that they've now clapped back in a pretty scary way for Nike. Here's the post by Sneaker Legal. He posted all of the legal documents pertaining to this and he wrote a very good caption to go along with this to make this a lot more clear to people like me who don't know what the hell's going on when it comes to anything legally. Earlier this month, Bape lost its motion to dismiss the case, so they had an answer. They submitted their answer on Monday of this week. In it, the main argument they made related to the naked licensing and referenced the Nike V Already LLC, or in brackets, YUM. So this is a case from 2009, and in this case, Nike made a covenant not to sue YUMs for using the AF1 silhouette. If they agreed to drop the case against Nike, where YUMs tried to invalidate Nike's AF1 trade dress. So Babe is taking a similar approach and is challenging Nike by filing counterclaims to invalidate Nike's trade dress registrations for the Air Force One, the Air Jordan One, and the Nike Dunk. This approach packs a punch and holds weight. Yes, in short, it now looks like this is going to continue. Everything looked like Nike had the upper hand. However, it looks like we're going to see this being battled out to the very end. Either way, that wraps it up for this episode. Again, we do this every single week, so subscribe to the channel so you can always stay in the loop with the latest sneaker news, sneaker releases, and just all of that. And click over there to find out the 10 best shoes that you can get right now under retail.